Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we take off for the thrilling air show, Thunder Over Michigan, sample the sweet side of Greektown, and then we get in on the paddleboarding craze out on Lake St. Clair, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. August, the Yankee Air Museum puts on a great family fun air show, Thunder Over Michigan. So tell me, uh, this is so exciting, we have Thunder Over Michigan, it happens what, every summer, July, Every single August? summer, usually in the July, August time frame, depending mm -hmm. on the schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the most unique events in the Detroit metro area. And really one of the best air shows in the country. We designed this air show differently every single year so that it's different for the fans that come each year and for the new people that are coming too. And we do think about everything from the enthusiasts right to the general public as to what they'd like to see and, and obviously what would entertain them. The museum's actually open uh, during each air show. We have retail available here. We have food concessionaires available. We have a kids uh, fun zone play area. And one of the things that I, I always emphasize to people is if you go to a sporting event, you never get to meet the players. Mm -hmm. You never get to meet the athletes around the field. Here, you actually get to meet the pilots and the crews that crew these airplanes. You get to meet them, shake their hands, get their autographs. So how is it set up? You come in and are, is it their grandstands to watch it from? Yeah, actually there's a number of different things. There's general seating area, which is on the grass or the pavement. Mm -hmm. We encourage people to bring their own chairs, their own blankets. Okay. If you want to, upgrade your seating to the bomber, fighter, officer, or grandstands. So it's it's kind of a less expensive ticket up to a very expensive ticket, depending on what amenities you want. Is there just a lot of flying the whole show? The main air show starts usually around 11.30 noon and uh, runs till about 4 o'clock each day. Now you also have different planes each year, correct? I mean, sometimes I, I hear the Blue Angels and sometimes you've got, you've got like this big jet in this year, correct? Correct. Correct. Yeah, I think we're constantly changing the lineup, so it's different, it's new, it's exciting. Uh, it's something that maybe we haven't done in many years, we'll bring back again. It just makes the show different and unique every year. Awesome. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the planes up in the air. Thanks, yeah. Kevin. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mustang Mania here at Thunder Over Michigan. Incoming. I love the paint job on this plane behind me. I imagine it's like an invisible cloak when it's up in the sky doing whatever it was it was doing, how it's painted to match the sky. And for fun, you can tour some of the planes behind me. We've got the Yankee Doodle Dandy. You go up on board, talk to the gentleman, find out what it was used for in World War II. And another thing that's really cool is that for some of the tours, you get to talk to the actual pilots. They'll tell you what their experiences are like up in the air. Look at their telling these kids how they fly this plane very quickly. This airplane actually carried the AMRAM, Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. Uh, it also could carry rockets. So I'm lucky enough today to be in the presence of a World War II hero, a Detroit native, a real Tuskegee Airman. Yes. Tell me, tell me who you are? Native Detroiter. Yeah. Alex Jefferson, Lieutenant Colonel, USAF retired. I was shot down, striping in an airplane just like this, a C model. Uh, Southern France. I spent nine months in Germany as a prisoner of war. Oh my. Survivor. Do you still fly? No, 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 no. no. But you're going to go up in this I'm today? I'm going to be in the back seat. Wow. Alan Miller is going to be the pilot. And this is the red tail? This is the red tail. The tails of our paints were temp painted red for air identification. Okay. If you saw this red tail over Berlin, Germany in World War II, you knew it belonged to the 332nd Fighter Group. Well, I'm going to let you take off and enjoy your nice, beautiful day here. Well, thank you. <laughs> B-29 that's flying up above me now, it's the only one left in the world that is still flying today. Uh, so I 
understand you came from Denver? Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Just for the air show? For the air show. We had a family wedding and, and that sort of thing. But wow, this is fantastic. Yeah. The biplanes were cool and the food's good too. The food's good too. <laughs> <laughs> Always important. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a great day. And would you look at the white picket fence food tents? They're colored like I'm on Nantucket Island. How cute. So not only do kids 15 and under get in free, but they've got a kid zone set up with, you guessed it, aircraft bouncers. How much fun. So how are you enjoying the air show? Oh, we're having a blast. This is, uh, this is our ninth year coming out. Wow. Or actually eighth year. And, and these are uh, your girls here behind you. Yeah, this is Sophie and uh, Jane's over here. Well, I understand something too that's neat about the show is that every year it's different. We've got different planes flying overhead. And this is the first year that I've ever seen the, the B-29 and I've been a big fan of the B-29 for a long yeah. time. Every year they have something different, so something different definitely want to come out. And if you want to beat the heat, check out the wingspan of this baby. Look at the shade it's providing. <laughs> and what's an air show without a car show? We've got behind me Mustangs with a couple Corvettes weaved in the mix, my two favorites. And look how cool this shot is. You've got the cars with the plane right behind it, the beautiful blue skies, just picture perfect. So are you buckled up and ready for takeoff? Because you get free admission to the Yankee Air Museum during the Thunder Over Michigan Air Show. So hey, you get to tour planes, talk to pilots, war heroes, it's Thunder Over Michigan every summer at Yankee Air Museum. I'm in one of Detroit's most well-known neighborhoods, historic Greek town. It's been here for years and it's a great neighborhood and actually it's more than that, it's a destination. It was established way back in the 1880s and it's one of the last Victorian era commercial districts in all of downtown Detroit, which lucky for us means there's lots of great photo opportunities. If you look at the architecture, you've got the flags and the lights going across the street. Make sure you bring your camera. There are so many great photo ops here, look at that. People come here just to walk the streets. It's pedestrian friendly. They've got authentic Greek restaurants that still serve real Greek food. Besides the authentic Greek restaurants, you've got a whole array of other kinds of foods to eat. They've got a pizza place. They've got fish bones that serves great seafood. You can get fried alligator there, sushi. They've got a place that serves barbecue. And they've got a sweet side. They've got a wonderful pastry shop. The Astoria Pastry Shop has been a staple here on Monroe Street for years. Come on. Well, Tasso, 
Oh, hi. I'm hi. so excited to be in here. Hi. Nice to have you here. You, you, you are really the epitome of Greek town. You've been here for yeah. years. You're a staple. People come just to come into your bakery shop. Yeah, we're an institution, <laughs> I would say. Uh, we've been here 42 years. My mom started it. A kid in a candy store. This is an adult in a bakery store. Yeah. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Thanks. We have about 100 different items oh my. that we sell. Um, a lot of them are Greek, but a lot of them are not. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of customers, obviously, who are not Greek. Yeah. Um, so, like, what are some of the favorite Greek Greek desserts? Baklava is the number one Greek dessert. And then uh, the cookies, like the kurambia, that's a uh, wedding cookie, a Greek wedding cookie. Oh, okay. And there's a honey cinnamon cookie down there that's a uh, Christmas cookie. Those oh. are delicious oh. and very popular. So, Brandy, this is like a super crazy busy place. Yes. How do you like working here? I think it's really awesome. I've been here for four and a half years now. It's really fun. When, and like, what's your favorite? What's your favorite pastry? I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> I would have to say I love this peanut butter muff pie with chocolate on it. The eyeball. It's so Man, good. That looks yummy. It is. This is like a traditional, a traditional wedding. wedding cookie. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh mm, my goodness. That's really good. Mm. Oh, know. it's so light. I love it. Kind of, I taste the butter in yeah, it. Yeah, it's all, it's all butter. It's, it's all, all butter. butter. Yeah, it's Just all butter what I cookie. need, right? Yeah, it stays soft. <laughs> Once in a while, moderation is the key, yeah, right? Yeah, well, it would be the key if we did it. <laughs> the reason we put a window in the back of the kitchen is so people can walk up to it and watch people make it. You know? Now that so. is the... Mm. Cloves and cinnamon. That's nice, it. and I yeah. like the nuts on top. Mm -hmm. And of course, baklava, sticky. Yeah. But this is just, I love baklava. Yeah. And that baklava with, is made with walnuts. Walnuts, okay. Mm -hmm. that, is yeah. that, so that's your traditional that, way? Yeah, then, traditionally baklava is made with walnuts, mm. but you can make it with, with a lot of different mm. nuts. Oh my goodness, that is so yummy. All that sticky goodness. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so we've had the Greeks, you, you yeah. brought in an, a sort of an American restaurant into Greek town. It's yeah. barbecued. It's Red Smoke. Right. When we opened this restaurant, there were seven Greek restaurants here. Mm -hmm. So not only were all of those Greek restaurants my friends that I didn't want to compete yeah. with, but we wanted to renovate this building. So one of the things we decided to do was do something totally different. So we have more people coming in in the area yeah. uh, who don't want Greek food. So we opened up the barbecue restaurant. Still a fun place to visit, but oh, uh, some barbecue. Some Can we yeah. check it out? Yeah. Well, this is beautiful. You, you guys just completely redid this. This building was uh, 60 feet. And we added another 40 feet, and then we left the old walls, yeah. up, and that's the old roof too. Wonderful character. Yeah. And we sell oh, only Michigan beers here, only oh. Michigan draft beers. So how's the barbecue here? Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> we smoke all our own meats, uh, brisket, pulled pork, uh, baby back ribs, regular ribs. We make our own andouille sausage, which is delicious. Oh, wow. uh, the chicken is uh, marinated in apple juice and soy sauce overnight. Yeah. and then smoke that's one of the best things yeah you get like a, two, two and a half pounds of chicken in one serving oh it's my like goodness huge, that's it's sinful huge, yeah it's a huge amount <laughs> this little treat that we've got here we've yeah. got these just came out of the smoker and these are uh, baby back ribs mm -hmm. and uh regular spare ribs wow they are huge and meaty yeah. now and then in your different sauces the red smoke do you think i can handle this oh i don't know the red smoke <laughs> is pretty hot i'm gonna try <laughs> it we'll see um, and that's red smoke. We have uh, roasted poblano and Memphis mm. mud, which is really sweet, and cherry molasses. That's our Michigan um, sauce. And then we have a mustard sauce, too. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the really spicy. I'm going to yeah, go okay. for it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so what do you have? So it's, yeah, it has kinda a... Mm, kind of hot. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Where's the water? Mm. <laughs> No, you drink, oh, you drink beer with beer. that. Oh, better, yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't drink water in here. <laughs> I can have beer. These are delicious. They are yeah. so meaty. Yeah. Want to try cherry. the cherry molasses? That yeah. goes well with those ribs. Yeah. Uh, when I eat them, I don't eat I don't eat no. Usually you use the sauce. Mm, that's fabulous. What a wonderful yeah. treat. Can I have a doggy bag for these? Because yeah. I can't eat them all, but Absolutely. they are fabulous. Yeah. Everyone leaves here with a doggy bag because they can't eat well, all their so dinner. Well, I guess so the amount of food you're giving people, it's yeah. insane. So I've been sent down here, I've been told that this is the place to get an authentic gyro, just like they serve in Greece at the Golden Fleece. Come on. This is your typical 
Greek street food, where you find every corner in Greece, in any region, any part of Greece. Uh, this is a gyros, authentic lamb. Okay. And shish kebab. You see it, you in smell the... it, you grab a piece, and you walk out of the door. There's no waiting, there's no sit down, you just grab it. It usually comes in the brought up in the pita bread, mm -hmm. with uh, french fries inside, tomatoes, onions, and tzatziki sauce. French Lots fries of... inside of yes, it? Yes, oh. good. Oh, like cucumber sauce. Mmm, yum. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Mmm, yum. Thanks, honey. Thank you. <laughs> you. Before you go, let me show you something. No. Oh, okay. So you have the authentic gyro sandwich. Yes. Uh, how about some ouzo? You familiar with ouzo? It's uh, licorice. Greek, Greek licorice. That's right. Licorice. Okay. And so, you said you grab the sandwich and you go. You press can. the button. Get out of town. A shot of this when you go. Yamas. <laughs> Yamas. Uh, Yamas? That's exactly. Right. Yamas. <laughs> you, are you going to join me? I guess actually. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. <laughs> Yamas. Yamas. Mm. Oh, that's Opa. good. It's chilled. Yum. Exactly. Mm. Another? Another? <laughs> So Greek Town has so much more than Greek food. They've got a great street for walking, lots of lively entertainment, and of course, everywhere you go, you're greeted with that warm Greek hospitality. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Head to Midtown for Concert of Colors, a free musical celebration. Then to Wyandotte for their street art fair. Put on your blue suede shoes for the Michigan Elvis Fest. And Plymouth's Art in the Park features fine art and crafts. Hydroplanes race along the Detroit River for the APBA Gold Cup. And Classic Rock All-Stars rock the riverfront. Celebrate Christmas in July aboard the Ovation Yacht. And punk rock fans won't want to miss the Vans Warped Tour. Roar on the River features jet ski races, a pirate night, and more. Then the Sterling Fest Art and Music Fair offers tons of fun. The Maker Fair at the Henry Ford is an inventor's delight. And luxury autos are displayed at the Concorde d'Elegance. Buy local at Northfield's Buy Michigan Now Festival. Then relive days gone by at the Clinton Township Gratiot Cruise. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Macomb County is home to the heart of the Great Lakes, Lake St. Clair. It has 31 miles of coastline and it's dotted with all kinds of great little nautical towns along the way. And it's a great lake to play in, so come on board with me. So ahoy from Lake St. Clair out here cruising the beautiful lake, enjoying this wonderful day. So much fun. coastline along here is dotted with cities that are all, it's just like a big boating atmosphere out oh, here, right? It, it's like a lifestyle. Absolutely. There's a whole lifestyle that people that have never experienced it in Detroit area wouldn't even know it exists. Yeah. It has the highest amount of registered boaters of anywhere in the country. Besides that, there's other activities like sailboating, uh, windsurfing, the kiteboarding where they have the big pontoons and uh, this is considered one of the best fishing lakes anywhere in North America. It's number one for musky fishing. It's just proclaimed as the best fishing lake on earth by the most awarded bass tournament fisherman, wow. uh, Kevin Van Dam. Now, we're out here on a weekday, but I understand it's a different story on the weekends and in the <laughs> summertime, it's just oh, yeah. the place to be. Well, just in Macomb County alone, yeah. there's over 60 active marinas. Uh, we have 15 boat launches along Lake Sinclair, the American side. There's everything for family activities to uh, there's a lot of islands to explore, a lot of locations. The lighthouses have been restored. If you don't own your own boat and you want to come out here and experience the lake, you can charter boats. Oh, yeah. There's places there, all along the there's coastline, There's places right? all along the coastline where you can charter boats, and uh, we call it our own Great Lake. Our own Great Lake. Yes. Yeah, so I would say it's yes. right here in Metro Detroit in Macomb County. In our backyard. <laughs> This is like a limo yes, that we're this, on. The, one, the boat we're on now is from H2O Limos, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's a boat for hire. So you can rent the boat or you can rent it with the captain. And we'll take you out anywhere in the lake you want to go. If you want to go swimming for the day, we'll go out swimming. You just want to go downtown to a Tigers game, we can do that. 
We have a lot of different options with that. If you're having a birthday party, anniversary, family outing, mm -hmm. whatever, there's lots of boats to ride out here on this lake. So one of the great little coastal communities on Lake St. Clair is New Baltimore. They've got this beautiful main street. It's dotted with shops and eateries. And of course, it all leads right up to the beach in Lake St. Clair. We want to make this the destination. Mm -hmm. This uh, that We want this to be the place to come to. Mm -hmm. We're looking at um, canoe and kayak and paddleboard rentals coming into town for the spring. We're putting in 20 boat docks down here on the oh. water. We're just on the move. So this leads then to a public beach? A this leads park? down to the public beach. We have a city park down here. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's an outside pavilion, there's a closed pavilion, there's playscapes. It's kind of what you think of like when you go up north to those other towns that right. dot the lakes. I mean, it's right here, but it's in Macomb County. Just a fun place to come to. Hey, I'm going to go into all these little Absolutely. places Absolutely, I about. wish you would. I think you'll be very impressed. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going on a tour. Come with me. All right. <laughs> this looks like a cute shop. So this is Celtic Sisters Candle and Candy Shop. And look at this display. Isn't this just the kind of candy display you would expect in a store like this? And all the candles they have for display here, all made in Michigan. Oh, and my favorite, a little bit of vino. Come on. Oh my goodness, this place is so warm and welcoming. The ceiling is a gorgeous tin ceiling. They've got brick wall in the back and of course all the wine and all the accessories. It smells wonderful in here. You back here making wine, drinking wine, toasting to the making of wine or what? <laughs> we, are, we are toasting to the making of wine. Toasting to, to the, the making Washington of wine. Street Wine House. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> And of course, what's a coastal town without an ice cream shop? But this one's also a bakery. It's Stahl Bakery. Let's go in. Smell the goodness out on the street. In the 1970s, some of the bakers invented by accident the okay. belly button cookie. So what's in the belly button cookie? It's a butter, a walnuts, and chocolate. It's and I call it ugly. <laughs> My doctor calls it decadent. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That was the best mistake I've ever had. That was wonderful. Welcome to the historic Grand Pacific House in downtown New Baltimore. We hope you enjoy your stay here in New Baltimore and enjoy visiting our former hotel. It looks like Little Camille's is one of like the happening restaurants in New Baltimore. Yes, yeah. we're, we're so happy to be down here in yeah. downtown New Baltimore. There's so much going on down here and there's more coming. What kind of food does Little Camille's, what kind of food do you serve up? Little Camille's is all about fresh product. We make our own bread, we make our own hamburger buns, we use fresh ground beef for our burgers. We make everything from scratch and our goal is to make great food, great price, and great service. Our patrons come out, especially this time of year. It's comfortable to be outside eating mm -hmm. and dining, and it's been great. Yeah. We've been so happy with the uh, response from everybody. And what I really like is you come out here, you turn around, and there's the water there right there. There it is. It's awesome. right there. <laughs> Look at the people out here on a fall day. I tell you, it's a great uh, little waterfront town here that a lot of people don't really know or understand or have an appreciation for until you've been here. If mm. you've been here, I tell you what, you want to come back. Yes. Great opportunities out here for paddling, canoeing, fishing. Lake St. Clair is where it's at. This lake is the busiest freshwater lake in the entire country, especially during the summer months, mm -hmm. is because it's shallow, it's a basin, a lot of fishing goes on over here, a lot of boating activity, a lot of restaurants, a lot of places for people to go to. So mm -hmm. this is where most of the boats and most of the uh, marinas are on Lake St. Clair. You paddle, you get out there and it's like walking on water, I understand. I water ski, I canoe, <laughs> I kayak, You take full advantage paddle, of the lake. But again, this year I really got into the stand-up paddle boarding and it mm -hmm. is absolutely a, a lot of fun. And uh, I can't get enough of it. I'm yeah. out on here, even the rivers, uh, the Clinton River, closer to Harrison Township area. Mm -hmm. So you find that this has become the new crave, mm -hmm. but uh, also a great way to get a suntan. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time trying this. I'm going to go out on the paddle boat. <laughs> and I'm cold and like walking on water and I'm not going to fall, right? She's 
actually doing pretty good for a first timer. I mean, with these waves the way they are, this is not normal for people to start on. They usually want to start where it's really smooth, but I tell you what, I give her a lot of credit. Especially when she went sideways, when those waves are coming at you, that's the time if you're new, you're going to fall, that's when you're going to fall. Good for her. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay, I was told it was a little rough conditions to learn and my legs are a little shaky, but I can see how it could really be a fun and addictive once you get it down pat. Woo! High five! That was fun! You rocked it. You rocked it. <laughs> well, I've earned my sea legs today out on Lake St. Clair. Did a little paddle boarding. Now I'm back downtown at Little Camille's and I'm about to enjoy some fresh homemade food, a good glass of wine, and I'd say it's a perfect ending to a perfect day. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.